some of the things that have been confirmed are like the options for your unit itself. So they're making it very customizable. So for example, for the flooring, the standard is luxury vinyl and carpet in the bedrooms. But the developer is giving the option to put hardwood throughout. Oh, it's really nice. Hardwood. Wood. Yes, and three different colors of hardwood. And you know, that's really nice because usually it's a additional cost if you want hardwood. That's a, you know, like a big upgrade, right? Yeah. But it's all no additional cost. If you want luxury vinyl throughout, that is no additional cost as well. And people with pets, you know, they'll usually pick the luxury vinyl because it's scratch resistant. Yeah. Whereas hardwood, you really got to take care of it. You got to oil it up or <laughs> that thing scratches up. Right? Yeah. So. Do you know what the colors are? It's going to be different shades of brown. So more traditional? More traditional hardwood. hardwood colors. And then the countertops are composite granite. So really nice, durable material, scratch-free, stain-free material. And they'll come in three color options. So you got the white, the gray, and the black. Personally, I like the gray. It looks a little bit more modern, really nice finish to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, neutral color, not neutral too strong. Color. Yeah. The backsplash on the kitchen, there's five different options. Five different options. Yeah, so, you know, they're, come to the showroom, you'll see them all. There's, there's, a, there's a ton, right? And then cabinets, there's three options, which is like the traditional wood paint and kind of has that classic look to it. Yeah. Or the new modern look is the acrylic one, and that's the, um, the scratch scratch proof one. That it's really shiny, mm -hmm. kind of reflects, but it looks really modern and clean. And then we have a wood press cabinet. So those are three options, again, that we have. And then the carpet color is anything called different colors? Oh, uh, we colors? have a beige and cream. Beige cream. Yeah, so you have two options for that. So it's really nice. This is a nice project because you are getting a luxury unit for a really reasonable price with a low maintenance fee of 68 cents per square foot. So, yeah. you know, that's starting at $400 for the maintenance, for the, the one bedrooms, right? Yeah. And you get to customize your unit to fit your personality and what you want. Yeah. So that's what owners want, you know, especially with new construction, right? You want to be able to control your unit yeah. and the look. You know, it sounds like a really good property, investment property, especially, you know, some of the older condos that I've seen on the market, you know, the maintenance fee is already like $800, well, $900. Well, they keep going higher and higher with the assessments, you know, things breaking down, they don't have enough reserves. Yeah, the older the building gets, the more problem it's going to have, right? right? More problems that are going to occur. Yeah. The elevators, they have to repaint. Yeah, or, the plumbing, electrical, elevators, flooring. scaffolding. There's so <laughs> many <laughs> things, so many things. <laughs> and then coming from the insurance background, like we had so many water leaks in condos. Really? Especially in the 60s and 70s, those, those condos leak all the time. Oh, no. And if the unit above you leaks into your unit, it's your own fault basically and wow. that's that's the thing that people can't understand wow. and you know even when i was working with insurance it sucked having to tell people that because you can't fault the unit above because it's in, in between the walls so they didn't know so automatically their insurance company is going to reject the claim then they say go to after the association but most associations have a clause that's in the writing that in between those units it's not their responsibility it's just alongside piping and things like that oh. so then it goes back to you and that's when you either have to pay out of pocket or put a claim on your own insurance and the, the insurance will cover it but the problem is that affects your rating and they can cancel you now we have to cancel a lot of people wow so be careful with the older units make sure that the plumbing has been redone that's my advice to you or buy a new construction yeah Always much safer, much hassle safer. free, exactly. Cheaper maintenance, and it's around the same price point too. And yeah. when you want something old or something new, right? You're gonna pay a little bit more for the, for the actual buying, but the maintenance fee offsets it because it's so low. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And then the, another good thing about Hawaii City Plaza, it's away from the uh, chaos, basically, of Kapiolani. Because right now there's gonna be like four. Yeah, maybe four condos being built on Kapilani right next to each other. Oh wow. So actually one of them one of the condos is ours too. It's Ocean Plaza, the next one that we're gonna build. But there's Ocean. Sky has two towers right next to Ocean. And then in front is Central. And that's all in the same vicinity of on Kapilani. Wow. And Kapilani is already congested, so it's gonna get pretty crazy there. Whereas Hawaii City is behind Sam's Club, Walmart on Sheridan. So it's away from the buckets, away from the chaos and the yeah. congestion, basically. Yeah. So it's going to be nice. Wow, that's great. Wow. Well, thank you for the update. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's been a week, so we look forward to making another update next week, and hopefully you Definitely. guys enjoyed us. Come visit the showroom. <laughs>